All right, guys, it looks like the clock has rolled over to 10 o'clock, so we are ready to get busy with some Bowman's Best tonight. We are opening a full case of 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. And here is how our break looks tonight. So this is eight boxes. It's a full case break. This is break number three. Our eBay end date was tonight, the 23rd. Our live stream schedule also tonight, the 23rd at 10 Eastern. You'll see the team names on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. And, of course, with the holidays upon us, there's no uh, mail service on Monday. Of course, there's never any on Sunday and not any on Monday because of Christmas Day. So this is going to ship out to you most likely on Tuesday. Just keep that in mind. And I'm getting ready to change the focus. You're going to see the background go out of focus, and that's actually intentional. I like to turn off autofocus and adjust manually the focus so that we can look at our cards up nice and close and we don't have to worry about all the autofocus zooming in and out and all that stuff that I find super irritating. So, so I always just turn it off. Of course, the biggest part of this break is getting everything out of these boxes. That's going to take us a little while, but we're not going to we're not going to do all of them at once. We'll do a few boxes, get them out, look at them, and we'll stop and do a few more and look at them and so on and so forth. Because my delayed gratification will not allow me to take all the cards out before I start looking. <laughs> I got to start looking before that, so I'm sure you feel the same way. So we have eight mini boxes in a case, and each one of our, or eight master boxes, I mean, in a case, each one of our master boxes also has two mini boxes in it. So there's 16 mini boxes, eight master boxes. There's uh, four autographs per master box, two per mini box. So that's a long way of saying that it's, uh, oops, sorry, that is a long way of saying it is going to be 32 hits in the break. And I accidentally just hit something there and pegged the volume, which I didn't really mean to do. <laughs> so sorry about that. Got a little extra, got a little reverb in there. Always good to hear reverb, right? <laughs> So, of course, uh, tomorrow being Christmas Eve and Monday, Christmas Day. Not doing any breaks those two days. We are back at it on Tuesday. And we'll be doing Bowman's Best again on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we'll open some Optic Football. And on, I don't remember what's on Thursday. I think it's Optic Football and Prism Basketball, maybe. And then, of course, on Friday, this uh, upcoming Friday, which is, what day of the week is that, 29th maybe, this Friday, I think? That's the day that Absolute Basketball comes out and Contenders Football, so we'll probably get into a little bit of that on Friday and Saturday, and, and we probably won't break on New Year's Eve, and then we will break on New Year's Day, but we'll do it later in the day obviously so we can all sleep in just in case you've been out uh, having fun the night before and need a few extra z's so that's kind of the plan for the week ahead anyway and in bowman's best we're going to find uh, a bunch of inserts we'll find uh, the baseball america insert and those are all refractors and of course, multiple, uh, at least we hope, we'll find a lot of color numbered to various things. Then there's the uh, the throwback. What year is that uh, going back to? I can't remember. The best cuts. It's, uh, it's a throwback to another year that had best cuts, and I can't remember what the year is. But that's another insert in here. Mirror image. We'll find some of those. Hi, Dan. How are you? In the mirror image, sometimes it's uh, players for the same team in mirror image. When it is, that's no problem. Sometimes it's players for different teams. 
And if they are players for different teams on there, I will set those aside. And at the end of the break, we'll let random decide whether those go to the rookie or prospect position or whether they go to the veteran position on that card. <laughs> Randall, I like it. You say make it happen because you're looking for some Ian Happ. I get it. We did find Ian Happ last night. It wasn't autographed, though. It was um, refractor. I don't remember if it was. I think it was just a base, a basic refractor. I don't remember it being numbered. And I'm going to try really hard tonight, guys, to remember to call atomic refractors atomic refractors because you know I have the nasty little habit of calling them cracked ice because... That's what Panini calls them, and you see so many of them in Panini products, and that's kind of, I just get in the habit of calling that pattern cracked ice. So if I slip up, and I'm sure I will somewhere along the way, and I call it cracked ice, it's really an atomic refractor in Topps parlance. And somebody did remind me of that last night in chat, which I appreciated because I do forget. I just get in the habit. Just like I, when I'm breaking Panini, I always call their prism cards refractors instead of calling them prism. It's just, I don't know, you get in the flow and that's what happens sometimes. Well, Randall, I hope that that's right. I hope that uh, that does mean that the Ian Hap Auto, whoops, Auto is here tonight. I hope that's what that means. I just knocked my iPad over. Sorry, guys. Give me a second here. I have got to, uh, that's what I use to view chat. And if anybody's watching and you can't see chat and you hear me going back and forth uh, talking to people in chat, but you can't see it, I think you have to be logged into YouTube to see it. I think that's the deal. So just FYI. And we're probably going to find loads and loads of refractors in here. We always do. Austin Beck is our first autograph hit for the Oakland A's. And uh, Nolan Arenado, Refractor. This is one of the Baseball America inserts I was talking about. Uh, I think all of those refract. I haven't noticed any that don't. So I, I believe that entire insert series will refract. It's a little Dansby Swanson to 150 in the blue parallel. Trey Mancini, Refractor. Basically, the rookie refractors uh, I'll put in in sleeves as we go. The veteran refractors I probably won't unless it's something amazing. There's what I was talking about for the uh, best cuts parallel. That one, Cody Bellinger. I just can't remember what year that's uh, what year that was originally. And of course, here's one of our mirror images. You have Michael Fulmer as our veteran on that one, and Jacob Faria as the uh, rookie, so we're going to set that aside because clearly that's two different teams. A little Freddie Freeman, Refractor, Mark McGuire, Insert, Kyle Wright, Refractor, and Willie Adonis, Refractor for the Tampa Bay Rays. And after we look at stuff, guys, it's 98 Bowman. Thank you, Randall. Um, I appreciate that. I couldn't, for whatever reason, I could not pull that year out of my head. That happens to me sometimes. So uh, you'll notice I picked the cards up and set them off to the right after we look at them. There are mats over there too, so not to worry. They're always on a mat. I just like to keep them out of the workspace as much as possible. A little Bradley Zimmer raking rookies, and we'll find uh, a fair amount of these as we go along. Another insert series. There's another, oh, there's an Austin Beck, that one, refractor, not autographed. Mirror image with uh, Michael Brantley and Adam Hazley. Luke Weaver, rookie refractor. Second autograph hit, Trevor Rogers for the Miami Marlins. We pulled some Trevor Rogers last night, too, if I'm remembering right. Araldus Chapman refractor went by. Bregman base rookie. Maytan base. Armenteros best cuts. Little Cody Bellinger rookie refractor for the Dodgers. Ooh. 
And somebody's trying to stay down there on the bottom of the stack. Who was that? That was David. David Dahl for the Colorado Rockies. Austin Meadows, that's just the base. Little Alex Bregman, raking rookies. Ryan Healy, rookie refractor. Oh, we're going to have a redemption. Who's it going to be? Oh, nice one. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's gold. Oh, so nice. Nats, how happy are you right now? Gold refractor parallel of Bryce Harper. Boom. Yeah, that's worth the price of admission. Nice hit. Franklin Barreto for the A's and the rookie refractor. A little Manny Machado to 250 for the Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, that that Bryce Harper is a that's a nice nice hit. I am super happy that we hit that. Ahmed Rosario and Francisco Lindor mirror image. Nice little Brendan McKay for the Rays. And Rafael Devers, numbered to, what does that say down there? 50? Yeah, to 50. For the Red Sox. So far, so good. See, I started to say right there, cracked ice again. I caught myself that time, though. <laughs> Mainly because I told you guys to remind me that it also... Serves as a mental reminder for me. So, Atomic Refractor, Raphael Devers for the Red Sox. Moniac Refractor for the Phillies. Chance Adams for the Yankees, our third autograph hit. Well, I guess we should look at the back of that. It's always a good idea to look at the back of the hits. Occasionally, you'll find ink or something on them where they've stacked them while signing them before they're dry. That Andrew McCutcheon was a refractor for the Pirates. There's a uh, Jesus Sanchez, Baseball America, Moncada, with the best cuts insert. Honeywell, refractor for the Rays. Trevor Clifton, autograph for the Cubbies. So Cubbies, we've got your, uh, we have you on board here. We just don't have exactly who you're looking for because you're looking for Ian Happ. I know that, but we're working our way towards it. There's a Corey Seager refractor. Kevin Merrill for the Oakland A's. And your, our Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. And... Yeah, I guess we're, we'll be open two, yeah, two master boxes, right? Yeah, had to think about, I had to count what we've got left over there. That's right. Nice little Torres to 250 for the Yankees. Well, may as well set that right back down because we're going to have to put Jose De Leon. He's a rookie refractor for the Rays. Fado for the Tigers. Oh, and there's our other Sanchez on a Baseball America insert. Another uh, Cuts insert. Blake Rutherford refractor for the Sox. There went a Joe Adele, but it was just a base. How about a little Rizzo to 99 for the Cubbies? So that's a nice uh, signature for you. That makes you happy, I imagine. Barrios for the Twins, Refractor. A Honeywell, um, oh, see, I keep wanting to say cracked ice. I'm trying to retrain myself. Atomic Refractor for the Tampa Bay Rays. I am just, yeah, it's so hard for me to switch that. George Springer, Refractor. Jose Altuve refractor of Blake Rutherford insert went by a second ago as well. Guriel for the Blue Jays. Seemed to hit him quite a bit in Bowman's Best. Once again, look at the back. 
Tyler Glass now, rookie refractor for the Pirates. Lewis Brinson, best cuts, uh, rookie for the Brewers. An insert, Pevin Smith and Eric Hosmer. Mirror image, we'll set that one aside. And Yuli Gurriel for the Astros, also a rookie refractor. All right, now we're going to bust into two more of our master boxes, four more of our mini boxes. But so far, I think we're off to a pretty good start. I like what we've pulled thus far. It's hard to go uh, too far off the rails when we have a Bryce Harper uh, gold to 50 auto. I mean, that's a nice hit. That's why I love Bowman's Best, though, because we get the... It, it really... Well, it's the best of both worlds. We get all of our nice rookies and prospects as well as our top-level veteran and current players. I, I just love Bowman's Best. I look forward to it every single year. I bought a fair amount this year. I think we've got uh, eight or nine cases to, of this in total to break. So if they would release it like not right in the middle of the holidays and with all the other zillion things that come out right around the holidays, I would buy a lot more. But kind of have to spread it around plus all oh, the holiday expenses. So never, never able to buy as much of it as I would like or as I would be able to if it were released at a different time of year. But but I guess they have to have time for the season to wrap up and get everybody's signature, so it makes sense why it comes out when it does. Dan, who do you have tonight? After you said hi, you're being very quiet. So I'm guessing we haven't pulled anything for you yet. Is that right? We'll try to get Santa to bring everybody something good in this break. Hopefully. Oh, you don't have a team. You're just hanging out tonight. Well, awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. Always like having company. Yeah, last night, of course, we had a long break because I did the case of Bowman's Best followed by the case of Optic. And so... And there'll be a couple other nights next week probably where we have a couple of uh, longer breaks back to back but then several nights in between as well that we'll just do a single case to make things flow a little more easily oh yeah I like that Harper too Dan I am pumped about that Harper I wish I always want to see those cards so you know you hate to pull them into redemption because I love to see them in person but, of course, we know Tops is pretty good about getting their redemptions out for the most part. And uh, I'm just super excited for the Nats because that's a great pull. And I don't think the Nats were terribly expensive tonight. Primarily because, you know, you're mostly playing the odds there that you're going to pull Bryce or, or maybe... Is Victor... I guess Victor Robles is probably in here too, right? Um... I mean, in an autograph, I know he's in the set. I just haven't pulled one of his autos yet, but I'm assuming it's in here. Yeah, I'd love to pull an Aaron Judge next. And a Cody Bellinger and uh, Reese Hoskins and all, all kinds of stuff. I would, I'd love to pull nothing but the high hits. I do see another redemption coming up around the corner, though. You guys can see the edge of it. So who's it going to be? Slow reveal. Oh, it's your Ian Happ. Cubbies, you are killing it. And it's in the green parallel, so of course that's going to be to uh, 99, but we will go to the checklist on the Ian Happ and the Bryce Harper. But uh, very, very nice hit for the Cubbies. 
And he specifically uh, requested that Santa bring him and Ian Happ, and he's also managed to pull a couple of other nice things in between, like Anthony Rizzo. Manny Machado refractor for the Orioles. Little Clint Frazier Baseball America. Max Scherzer to 250 for the Nats. Um, Reese Hoskins is in here. I don't know if his auto is in here. I would have to double check that. I mean, he's definitely in here. I thought his autos were in here, but am I wrong? Are they not? I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to double check that, but I thought they were. Kyle Wright for the Braves on that refractor. Just a little Chris Bryant best cuts. Mirror image uh, Scherzer and Copic or Copic. Somebody keeps correcting me on that. Copic, not Copic. Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Autograph hit for the A's, Armenteros. I think that's our second auto hit for the A's, if I'm remembering correctly. But we will recap everything at the end of the break. Miguel Cabrera, Refractor. Devers, uh, Jimenez for the White Sox on the Baseball America insert. A nice little Nick Senzel refractor for my Cincinnati Reds. Hooray. Oh, yeah, Randall, you're, you're crushing it right now with the Cubs. You're doing quite, quite well so far with the Cubs for sure. Miguel Sano and Kevin Maytan on that mirror image. Oh, these are the ones I had already looked at. Well, that's all right. We just looked at them a second time. Mookie Betts refractor for the Red Sox. An Acuna Baseball America. Nice little Cody Bellinger to 99 for the Dodgers. Kyle Tucker, Refractor for the Astros. Shane Baz for the Pirates is our signature, our next signature hit. Alfaro, Rookie Refractor for the Phillies. Oh, Randall, this is, uh, is this the first time you've done a case break auction at all, or it's just the first one you've done with me? Either way, I like your luck for sure. You're doing really well. For the Brewers, uh, I never say this guy's name right. Haria? Haria? Har I don't know. Keston, you see him. You know who he is. <laughs> Dansby Swanson, rookie refractor for the Braves. Well, I hate to tell you this, uh, Randall, but you will be hooked. Because this is how it started out for me, too. Uh, originally, like before I did breaks, when I was just buying into them, it's addictive. It's so much fun. Jimenez for the White Sox. Mirror Image, Benintendi, and Christian Yellick. Yeah, I mean, obviously, of course, uh, oh, that was uh, Brendan McKay is a refractor there. Let me... Get him in a sleeve for the Rays. I mean, obviously, there's times we, when you do breaks and your team doesn't pull much or doesn't pull anything. Those are less fun, um, <laughs> but you make up for it in times when you just pull awesome stuff. So it kind of all balances out, at least for me it does, but, but it's always fun when you hit a lot of stuff. Will Myers for the Padres, that is the an, an atomic refractor. Max Scherzer refractor. Ahmed Rosario, Baseball America. There's an Ian Happ raking rookies insert. Austin Meadows refractor. <laughs> I like though that you call all the other cards that aren't Cubs the junk cards. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Corey Seager. Dodgers uh, Baseball America insert, Piazza Dodgers uh, cuts insert. There's a Bryce Harper refractor for the Nats who are just happy they have the autograph. They don't care about that refractor, I'm guessing. There's an Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs atomic refractor. 
Nice little Benintendi raking rookies insert for the Red Sox. Brett Phillips for the Brewers, rookie refractor. Moncada, that's just a base rookie, and Zimmer's a base rookie. Adam Hazley for the Phillies. Who is a, who's a who's a redemption for the Cubs in here, Randall? Is who's not live in here? Is it Chris Bryant or who? Do you know? That was a Brendan Rogers uh, refractor, of course, for the Rockies. Dominic Smith for the Mets. A little Freddie Freeman to 150 for the Braves. Josh Donaldson refractor for the Blue Jays, which I seem to pull quite often. Drew Ellis for the D-backs. <laughs> you looking for a one of one or a one of ten? Hey, well, well, hey, you're having good luck. You never know. We might find it for you. Chris Sale for the Red Sox uh, refractor. Torres best cuts insert for the Yankees. I saw Alex Bregman, rookie refractor for the Astros. Tyler O'Neill uh, cuts for the Cardinals. Nice low number, Pavin Smith, to 25 for the D-backs. That's actually first in the series, too, number one of 25. You guys know that gives me an extra little thrill when we get uh, the first or the last in the series. Craig Kimbrell, refractor for the Red Sox. Hi, Edward. How are you? And, um, Randall, there are not uh, patch cards in here. This is this is all, um, I, I mean, it is kind of a, it's not a high, high-end series. It's kind of a mid-level series, I guess, in terms of price and stuff. And you get some awesome hits, but they're not patch cards in here. D.L. Hall for the Orioles. And that one was a refractor. Ahmed Rosario. Refractor for the Mets. Oh, you're working for the next three days? All right. Well, I was hoping you'd get a chance to be off some, man. That's no fun. I hope they're paying you double time or something. Verdugo, uh, Baseball America insert for the Dodgers. Nice little Buster Posey refractor for the Giants. Fado again, Mateo, Corey Seager, Dodgers Atomic Refractor in our Baseball America insert series. I saw Ronald Acuna Refractor for the Braves. Uh, we didn't see a monochrome auto go by yet. Somebody's saying something about monochrome, monochrome auto, but I haven't seen the monochrome auto yet uh, go by. Ronald Acuna, Braves, just made somebody happy. That's an ex, that's a good hit. Little Jake Berger for the White Sox, refractor, mirror image, uh, Mancata and Runed. Here is our case hit, as a matter of fact. Oh, and it is a nice one. Kevin Maytan for the Braves. Super nice. Super, super nice. Number to 25. 11 of 25 on the uh, monochrome case hit. Atomic Refractor. Kevin Maytan for the Braves. That is a sweet one. We're Overall, we're having a quite good case here. Another Maytan refractor for the Braves. And guys, if you want anything that you pull in a one-touch case, if you haven't done a break with me before, um, those are available. It's just at my cost for the case and the PayPal fees to receive the money. Usually ends up being around $3 a case. The only time it would be more than that is if it were like a booklet case or one of those super, super thick ones, which obviously neither one of those are going to apply to tonight. But... So if you ever want one, you send me a message on eBay and um, then I send you a PayPal money request for the amount. And I usually have to kind of shorthand all of that in eBay messages because they, they don't like it when you 
transact things off of eBay, even when it's only something like paying for an extra case. So I usually kind of shorthand it, but that's the way it works. If you request it, I look up your email address that's on file with eBay, and then I send a PayPal money request directly to that email. And then once you pay it, it goes uh, ships out in the nice little one-touch magnetic case. Oh, they don't, uh, they don't pay you any overtime at all, Edward? Well, that stinks. And there's, that's, that's not good at all. I don't like that. And I thought that the police did get extra pay for certain times of year, but I guess it's just when you work, I guess, over your allotted hours, I guess, is it maybe the only way that they pay you overtime, but to tell you the truth, I don't uh, think cops get paid enough anyway, nor teachers or firemen or many of the other people who do good public service work. I don't think any of them get paid as well as they should be, considering the work that they do. But hey, maybe that new tax cut everybody's talking about will generate raises for us all. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. <laughs> I kind of chuckle because, you know, you, it's typical of anything that has any kind of political overtones. Half of the one half will tell you it's going to be wonderful and be the best thing in the world for everybody. And then the other half will tell you it's terrible and a worse thing couldn't happen. But to tell you the truth, it's almost always somewhere in the middle, but just no one's going to admit that, that's all. Oh, well, you know what? That's really <clears throat> very true. If you have if you have overtime pay, they do take a tremendous amount more in taxes. They do the same thing with bonuses. I used to uh, be in sales like just regular hit the street sales later on I was a sales manager but when I was in door not door to door sales because it was always business to business but anyway when I was boots on the ground sales not in sales management and most of my money came from commissions and they would uh, treat commissions because they were not paid out weekly they were either paid depending on where I was working monthly or twice a month but taxes would treat those as if they were bonuses. And of course, the amounts would vary based on how much you sold. So there were plenty of times when we lost, I mean, outrageous sums of taxes. I mean, you do usually get it back in a refund way down the road. But in the meantime, you've gone a whole year without having the benefit of that income. So kind of a double-edged sword, I guess. But, but we all know how that goes. But I am sorry you have to work the next three days, Edward. I was hoping you would get a little time off, so that's kind of a bummer. Carlos Correa on our cuts insert. We had a nice Carlos Correa autograph last night. Clayton Kershaw refractor for the Dodgers. Nice little Ryan Healy raking rookies autograph. A's are doing quite well tonight, too, with several hits. That one is a sticker auto. You probably noticed that uh, when you saw it. Most of these in here are on card autos, but there are, are a few that are stickers, and that was one of them. Nice little Devers um, refractor. Jay Groom, nice hit for the Red Sox. Really nice hit. Or at least we think it's going to be a really nice hit. If he develops the way everyone expects him to be, it will be. Charlie Blackman, refractor for the Rockies. Fado again for the Tigers. And Christian Aurora, who just got traded away for the Giants, rookie refractor. Traded him to Tampa Bay, right? Isn't that right? And that's when they picked up Evan Longoria, and that when they sent him away in that trade. Corey Seager in the best cuts uh, insert. 
Mirror Image, uh, Carlos Correa and Royce Lewis. We got a bunch of those tonight we're going to have to do something with. Moncada, Rookie Refractor. Another Mirror Image, speaking of, that one, Brendan McKay and Rizzo. Another Nick Senzel. This one is numbered to 10, though. Nice, nice low number hit for my Cincinnati Reds with that Nick Senzel to 10. Mackenzie Gore Refractor for the Padres, making them happy. Nate Pearson, Blue Jays. Autograph. Robinson Cano for the Mariners on that refractor. Chris Sale Atomic Refractor for the Boston Red Sox. And for the D-backs, Goldschmidt Refractor. Chris Bryant, Baseball America insert. Clint Frazier, nice one for the Yankees. I know Yankees are after Aaron Judge. I get that. But Clint Frazier is still a nice one to have. And hopefully he's going to come back better than ever this upcoming season, which will be his official rookie season since he got hurt partway through last year and didn't finish up. Chris Bryant, Refractor. Dylan Cozens for the Phillies. Best cuts insert. A mirror image. Brendan McKay and Clayton Kershaw. Rizzo refractor for the Cubbies. J. Groom Baseball America. Nice little Nick Senzel best cuts insert. And looks like we have Giancarlo Marlins refractor. Well, somebody's trying to jump ship on me there. John Duplantier. Duplantier. Duplantier or Duplantier. Something like that. For the D-backs. You know I never get the names right. Like 99% of the time I mispronounce the names. <laughs> Will Myers. Refractor. There's an Aaron Judge. That's just a base rookie, but still nice to have. Some of his paper stuff. Or base stuff still does well. Moniac uh, for the Phillies. Kenley Jansen refractor. There's a Bellinger base rookie. Mirror image Chris Sale, Mackenzie Gore. Adam Hazley refractor for the Phillies. Mirror image, Joe Adele and Mookie Betts, and that is the Atomic Refractor. Always good to see Joe Adele, and we'd like to find one with a signature on it, of course, for the Angels. Cespedes Refractor, Tyler Glass now. That is not a refractor. I was seeing Brendan McKay underneath for the Tampa Bay Rays Atomic Refractor. Benintendi. Rookie Refractor. Evan White for the Mariners. So we got the Mariners on, on the board with a hit. Bradley Zimmer, Rookie Refractor for the Indians. Ken Griffey Jr., Best Cuts Went By. Tristan McKenzie, Baseball America, I started to say cracked ice again, Atomic Refractor for the Indians. Nice little Torres Refractor for the Yankees. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Isn't that the second Nate Pearson auto that we've pulled? It seems like it is. Feels like it is, anyway. We'll find out when we recap, but I think it is. Shane Baz, Refractor for the Pirates. Joey Votto, Ichiro, and a nice little Benintendi. Best Cuts insert. 
Cody Bellinger raking rookies insert. Followed by a Sean Newcomb rookie refractor for the Braves. Kyle Tucker to 250 for the Astros. I see uh, Guriel coming up for the Blue Jays refractor. Did I give you a good enough look at that one? Sometimes after I put them in the sleeve, I take them away too soon. P.J. Conlon for the Mets, but let's first go ahead and look at Jose Ramirez, then we'll set him down. He was a refractor for the Indians. And then P.J. Conlon for the Mets was our last signature out of that group. So we have two master boxes, four mini boxes left. So who do you guys think we're going to find? What are you feeling? What are we putting out in the universe for these uh, last autographs getting ready to come out? <laughs> Randall is... Uh, Feeling like it's going to be Chris Bryant because his luck's been pretty hot. <laughs> Mr. Wax Packs, we have not pulled a Bellinger or Aaron Judge autograph tonight. No, we have not. Pulled some inserts uh, for Bellinger. I think we've only pulled base rookie for Judge that I'm remembering at the moment. Uh, but we've definitely pulled inserts for Cody. Oh, wow, you pulled a monochrome uh, gold judge, and then the next day you pulled a judge atomic refractor auto to 25. That's fantastic. That's awesome. You were very happy then, I'm sure. Yeah, so far tonight, uh, we, we pulled a Bryce Harper uh, redemption, but it's uh, redemption to 50 in the gold parallel but we have not pulled a Judge or Bellinger yet tonight. I mean, they're all over this set, too. Both of them have a number of possibilities. But you know how it goes. Sometimes it comes in runs. It seems like you, you pull a whole lot of somebody, and then you don't pull as much, and then you start pulling a whole lot of them again, and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you jumped around and invented a few new words. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're going to, I don't know if, if you keep them or sell them, Mr. Wax Packs, but if you sell them, you just made yourself quite a nice little Christmas bonus with those two. So, I'm sure, that'll, that will pay for your holiday and then some, most likely, or your holiday shopping, I should say, and then some. Yeah, I've pulled a lot of Aaron Judge this year, including a nice little one-of-one one auto that we pulled out of uh, Archive Sig's Active Player Edition a couple months ago or a month or so ago. But I've pulled a lot of Judge throughout the year and a lot of high-dollar Judge throughout the year. But just haven't pulled him yet from this. I've also pulled tons and tons of Cody Bellinger. In fact... From the point at which his autos became available, which was um, Allen and Genter, was the first. It was a redemption, but that was the first set that Bellinger rookie autos were in from Tops this year. From that forward, I've pulled Bellinger out of every single baseball series. I haven't missed one. He's come up somewhere in all of them, so I'm sure he's going to come up around here somewhere, too. Well, yeah, that's true. You did get that Bellinger uh, to uh, uh, out of Chronicles. I had forgotten about that. Also, see, I am doing all right by you then. I've pulled you four judges and three Bellingers so far. That's oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, somewhere out of these eight or nine cases or whatever I have uh, of this Bowman's Best, I better get a Bellinger because if my streak were to end this close to the end of the year, I'd be super depressed. But I feel like we're going to find him. 
If not tonight, we're going to find him somewhere in this that I have. I feel good about it. Austin Beck and Mike Trout mirror images. A little Noah Syndergaard to 150. If I can get the sleeve in my hand, that might be helpful for the Mets. In fact, while I'm at it, let's just get a few more out. I've actually got to get some more Chronicles listed. Probably won't do that until January, though, but I do have some more Chronicles we'll be working through. Joe Adele, Refractor for the Angels. Miguel Sano, Refractor for the Twins. Matt Sauer for the Yankees. So a couple of Yankees hits, but not the Aaron Judge that you're looking for yet. Francisco Lindor, Refractor for the Indians. Tristan Lutz for the Brewers. That might be the first Tristan Lutz I've pulled so far out of this product, anyway. And there's Tristan McKenzie for the Indians. Well, there's a little Aaron Judge Atomic Refractor, so it's not signed. It's not, uh, it's not exactly where we want to be, but we are moving in the right direction, so... Maybe that's a good sign of things to come in the rest of this uh, that we have sitting here. Miguel Sano to 250 for the Twins in the Purple Parallel. Actually, let's just move those on out the way here. Oh, Hank Aaron. You all know how much I love Hank Aaron. Well, if you break with me often, you do. Hank Aaron and Johnny Bench are two of my all-time favorite players. It's a nice little Hank Aaron refractor for the Braves just to make me happy. That was my Christmas present, getting to see that. Victor Robles for the Nats. Refractor. Nice little Alex Bregman atomic refractor in our best cuts uh, insert. I think there are two of those a case, if I'm remembering right. We should find two best cuts that are also atomic refractors. Royce Lewis refractor for the Twins. Jeter Downs, my Cincinnati Reds have a hit. Last night they had like four or five hits. Tonight, though, at least they still have that one. Lewis Brinson, rookie refractor for the Brewers. You pulled, oh, what is this you say? You pulled a one-of-one one monumental materials booklet from 17 national treasures of Bench, Rose, Concepcion, and Morgan. Oh, wow, with two-inch two inch thick patch pieces that's pretty sweet oh you have to send me a picture of that man that sounds awesome or did you sell it already or do you sell it i don't know if you sell it or if you keep it but but if you have a picture of it send me one i'd love to see that reese hoskins best cuts for the phillies carlos correa refractor for the astros Alex Reyes, uh, rookie refractor. Is that a refractor? Is it the one below it? No, it was him. For a second, I wasn't sure, and then I set it back down. Yeah, it was the first time. <laughs> I was right the first time. And then decided I was wrong somewhere in between. Phillies, Dylan, uh, Dylan Cozens. Nice little hit for the Phillies. That autograph. Hunter Renfro, rookie refractor. Oh, yeah, Jordan, there's football. We broke uh, Optic last night, and there's a couple of cases of Optic listed already on eBay right now. And then Contenders Football comes out on Friday, so there'll be a listing going up for that in the next day or so. Rafael Devers and Mike Moustakis, mirror image. And then Hugh Darvish, refractor for the Dodgers. Yeah, I just, Jordan, I hadn't been doing a lot of the uh, one box stuff and things that have lower card count overall for the last few weeks, primarily because there are so many people that come on to eBay around this time of year that aren't normally on eBay and they don't know what to expect and they think they're buying sealed boxes or cases and then when they don't get that and then you get... They want refunds and they leave you negative feedback and it's just all horrible. So I list less of that, I list less of that around the holidays. But we're getting ready to get back to it. 
Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. That signature hit. Well, Pavin Smith refractor for the D backs. And Mr. Wax Packs, you sent me a picture. Yay, I can't wait to see it. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, you hit a Bo Jackson autograph jersey last night, Jordan. That's excellent. Alex Bregman, best cuts, refractor. Well, how about a second monochrome case hit, guys? We're supposed to have one, and guess what? We have two. Our first one was numbered to 25, and it was an atomic refractor uh, for the Braves. And this is a nice little Kyle Wright also for the Braves. This one is 125. So instead of a case hit, how about two case hits in this one? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a nice little Christmas gift, especially for the Braves. Alex Fado for the Tigers refractor. Yeah, actually, just tonight, Jordan, I put up another, um, I put started putting autographed jerseys up again. So they'll start breaking on Thursday again. So I think we're probably far enough out of the shopping season by then that we're safe to go back to doing a lot of that stuff. And you'll start seeing the black gold football and, uh, you know, 2013 black and 2010 plates and patches. All that stuff will be starting to go back up again. Little Cody Bellinger Atomic Refractor on the Best Cuts insert, and that is the second one of the case. There are only two of those per case. Michael Kopic for the um, rookie, or not rookie, he's a refractor, but a prospect on that. Little Bryce Harper Best Cuts insert. Kyle Wright and Corey Kluber. Mirror images. We'll be cleaning all those up shortly. Jay Groom, refractor for the Red Sox. Yeah, I've, I've done some uh, football off and on, Jordan. You just probably missed it. Like, I did a case or two of preferred football, and um, I've, done, I've done some other football in between since the last time I've seen you. You just probably um, didn't see it. That's the only... That's the only thing, but yeah, I've been doing it. It's a little Aaron Judge raking rookies insert. But for sure, I'm going to have some more of the stuff that you like uh, coming up pretty soon. Including Optic. I was surprised you weren't an Optic the other night, as a matter of fact. There's a Noah Syndergaard refractor for the Mets. <laughs> you know, I hit another Cam Newton, Jordan, out of 2011 Prime... Not too awfully long ago. So I've hit two or definitely two, maybe three Cam Newton uh, rookie autos out of 2011 Prime. Kevin Merrill for the A's. Which I actually don't have any more of that on hand right at the moment. I need to order some more in. And I tried to order some the other day and messed up and didn't get the order in in time. So um, I'll have to circle back around and get some more after the first of the year. It's just an Aaron Judge base for the Yankees. Dalback Baseball America insert. A Goldschmidt Best Cuts insert. Yeah, how many? I don't know how many I've opened. Probably, um, I don't know how many we opened this past year. What break number were we on? Like up in the 30s or, or 40s, but those were half case breaks, so... Um, I mean, we've opened a fair amount, but to find two or three, I thought was pretty good. Corey Kluber, refractor for the Indians. And usually they come out in pretty good shape. That's the other nice thing about it. Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. The Prime Six cards usually come out in gradable condition, which, as you know, not all series will come out that way. Josh Bell, rookie refractor for the Pirates. A little Cody Bellinger base uh, rookie for the Dodgers. And a Cody Bellinger, I started to say cracked ice again, atomic refractor for the Dodgers. That is just, I have just so many years of saying cracked ice, it's just autopilot. It's hard for me to remember that I should be saying atomic refractor. An Aaron Judge uh, refractor. Nick Senzel, Baseball America. You know I'm going to put him in a sleeve because I love Nick Senzel. <laughs> and 
and actually because he is one of the one of the top rated prospects as well. Mike Trout Refractor. Mitchell White. Back to back hits for the Dodgers with uh, Verdugo and White. A couple nice hits there. Eloy for the White Sox. Refractor. Freddie Freeman, McCutcheon, old Derek Jeter cuts insert. And a mirror image, AJ Pollock and Victor Robles. And finally, an Ian Happ rookie refractor. All right, so you know what comes next, guys. We have got a little housekeeping to do here before we recap. And that's mostly going to involve going to the checklist and then dealing with our mirror image cards. So let's do our checklist. Uh, actually, we'll do our checklist second. We'll do our mirror image cards first. So on these mirror image cards, as you can see, there's going to be one player that is a veteran player or an established player. And the opposite player is either going to be a rookie or a prospect. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do with that, we're going to roll over here into random.org. And basically, I'm just going to enter in there veteran and then rookie slash prospect. And we're going to hit random, or I'm going to hit random, three different times. The first two do not count. So um, the first two you just ignore. Wherever we end up on the third one is going to tell us how all those mirror image cards are ultimately distributed. So first one doesn't count. Second one doesn't count. Third and final one does and there you will see you have randomized this list three times. There's our date and time stamp, and it comes up with the rookie prospect uh, on top. So let me pull, uh, I've got one of these in a sleeve, so I'm going to pull him out because I can write on the sleeve, and I'm going to circle the rookie prospect so that I remember. And once again, of course, I did not write on your card that's on the sleeve. So we'll take a quick look through these uh, and just to establish where they're going to go. So this will be to the Angels with the Joe Adele. That will be to the Nationals with the Victor Robles. This will be to the Braves with Kyle Wright. That will be uh, Red Sox with Devers. This will be to the A's, Austin Beck, Mackenzie Gore, Padres, Brendan McKay, Rays, Brendan McKay, Rays. Uh, this will be Royce Lewis to the Twins. Moncada to the White Sox, Benintendi to the Red Sox, Maytan to the Braves, Kopik, Kopik to the White Sox, Pavin Smith to the D-backs, Ahmed Rosario to the Mets, Adam Hazley to the Phillies, Jacob Faria to the Rays. So that's how all of our mirror image cards are distributed. Then what we're going to do is just go to the checklist and we're going to verify these. I mean, we know that Bryce Harper is a national. We know that Ian Happ is a cub, but you guys also know that I always go to the checklist and verify them when we get a redemption because I just think that is the right way to do it. So that is what we're going to do and give me a hot second here so I can bring you with me. And then let's just jump in here real quick. These were both uh, best of 2017 autograph parallels. So let's uh, roll on down to find those. They should be in here somewhere. There we go. And then, of course, uh, Bryce Harper. There he is for the Washington Nationals. And then we're going to see Ian Happ down here for the Chicago Cubs. And there he is. So we can safely say that those were checklist verified just to make it all nice and official. And of course, uh, the Bryce Harper gold will be to 50 when you get it. The Ian Happ being the green parallel will be to 99 when you get it. Let's take a look at our color real quickly and then we'll go through our signatures and the recap. So no to 250. Sundergaard to 150, Kyle Tucker to 250, Senzel to 10, Pavin Smith to 25, Freeman to 150, Bellinger to 99, Scherzer to 250, Torres to 250, Swanson to 150, and Manny Machado to 250. 
and it's possible that some of the color I didn't set aside, if you saw some more color go by that you didn't just see me recap, it just means I stacked it in the wrong stack, but I think that's most, if not all of it. I try to remember to stack it separate always. Now on to our autograph hits. Uh, we have the redemption that will go to the Cubs for Ian Happ. We have the nice gold redemption going to the Nationals for Bryce Harper. And then a big thick stack here. Mitchell White, Dodgers. Alex Verdugo, Dodgers. That one was a refractor as well. Kevin Merrill for the A's. That one is a refractor. This is supposed to be a case hit, but we got two monochrome case hits in this case. So Santa was on our side tonight. This one is Kyle Wright for the Braves, and it's numbered to 125. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Dylan Cozens for the Phillies. Jeter Downs for the Reds. Tristan Lutz for the Brewers. Matt Sauer for the Yankees. P.J. Conlon, Mets. Nate Pearson, Jays. Evan White, Mariners. John Duplantier for the D-backs. Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Nate Pearson again for the Blue Jays. This one is a refractor. Nice little Jay Groom refractor for the Red Sox. Ryan Healy, refractor, raking rookies insert. That one is a sticker auto for the A's. And here's our second case hit, and that is a, this is a particularly sweet one. Atomic Refractor Monochrome Case Hit for the Braves, Kevin Maytan. That is just awesome. Numbered to 25, and the Braves uh, have made their, made their money back uh, and a lot more. Acuna for the Braves. D.L. Hall for the Orioles. That one is a refractor. Drew Ellis for the D-backs. Adam Hazley for the Phillies. Keston Haria or something similar to that <laughs> for the Milwaukee Brewers. Shane Baz for the Pirates. Armenteros for the A's. Guriel for the Jays. Nice little Anthony Rizzo to 99 for the Cubbies. Kevin Merrill for the A's. That's our second one for him. Trevor Clifton for the Cubbies. Chance Adams for the Yankees. Trevor Rogers for the Marlins. And then finally, an Austin Beck refractor for the A's. Keep in mind, everyone, of course, we have no mail service on Monday because it is Christmas Day. So that means that this stuff is going to head out the door on Tuesday. So look for it to head your way starting then. As always, I thank you so much. I appreciate you bidding with me and breaking with me. Uh, not going to be breaking Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but we will be back at it on Tuesday. And uh, I think we're Bowman's Best again on Tuesday, if I remember correctly. So I hope I will see you again for that, or if not that break, for another one. In the meantime, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that stuff, and uh, I will see you the next time. Thanks very much. Merry Christmas to you too, Bryce. Bye-bye.